Hello everybody, this is Budrich. I just want to show you a quick little cool thing in GTK, which is uh, a UI framework, you know, that many applications use, especially in GNOME land. And one of those applications is Thunar, which is, uh, yeah, what we are working on, on in Bud Labs right now. So, to configure hotkeys in GTK applications, there is a really cool thing you can do. Uh, there is a file uh, where you can set some GTK settings, or there are actually two files. But uh, here, GTK RC 2.0, it's located directly in your home folder. Uh, really don't like when files are located like this, but whatever it is. Uh, here you can set some, some standard settings for GTK applications, for instance, which theme to use, which icon theme to use, font size, whatever. And some other strange things. Uh, but this only works for GTK 2, that's why it's called 2.0 here. GTK 3 and above uh, uses uh, a settings file that's located here. Config GTK-3.0. I have, I have more or less only tried this, uh, uh, what I'm going to show you in this video, in Thunar here. And it works. And, and my Thunar version is a GTK 2 application. So you... Uh, if you use GTK3 applications, I guess you add it to this settings file and... But I, I, I don't know, I haven't really tried it for GTK3 and whatever. So, the thing I want to show you is that there is one setting that you can add to this file that isn't uh, enabled by default and it isn't even visible in this GTK RC 2.0 file by default. But the setting looks like this. GTK dash can dash change dash axles equal one strange setting strange name get back to that enable that and then you need to um, i think you need to reload gtk i have this script called the gtk uh, rc reload which i installed from aur it's just a short perl script that reloads uh, gtk i think you might might have to reload gtk like this or Maybe it's enough to just uh, uh, reload Thunar. But to be sure, enable this setting, then log off, log in again. And then, then it will have effect, but whatever. Add this setting, and then when you have done so, then you can um, change axles. And what is axles? That is, of course, GTK's uh, stupid name for uh, hotkeys or key bindings. They call them accelerators. And um, when I started uh, customizing my Thunar uh, thing here, I was using this uh, axles.scm file that's located in uh, config slash Thunar. And this is the file where all the, the uh, accelerators or, or hotkeys are defined. And as you can see, it's a very, very strange format and it's this is not a fun file to, to edit, uh, and Thunar also auto-formats it, so you cannot sort these uh, options and stuff, it will just scramble them whenever you close Thunar, it's really annoying. But, you don't, you never have to open this file, more or less, never, maybe some, whatever. Because you can do this, check this out, when you have enabled this, change Excels, uh, open a GTK application, Open a menu, look at the menu, and you can see here, menu bar, control M. That's the hotkey or accelerator for uh, toggling the menu bar. We can try it, oops. Control M, really nice. Uh, then we also have this status bar. It doesn't have a uh, accelerator yet. If I press here, you can see the status bar is visible. If I want to add an accelerator or hotkey for this, all I have to do is hover over this menu item with the mouse, or I just have to make sure it's selected. I don't even have to hover hover with the mouse, I can select it with uh, the arrow keys like this also. And then just press the key I want. For instance, Control s here. No, that, that is the key for this. So That's how easy it is to, to change and enable uh, uh, key combinations in GTK applications. It, and as I've said, I've, I've only tried this in Thunar. It's more or less the only GTK application I use. Um, 
but uh, it works really nice here and I, I think this feature is so good. I wish this would be like a standard for every GUI application so that you can set uh, key combinations like this from menus and it should be the same everywhere. Windows, KDE, GNOME, whatever. But it at least works here if you enable this thing. And now I will um, set these uh, navigation uh, commands here to the my preferred key bindings, which are uh, open parent. I set that to backspace, and this can also be good to know. If you if you press backspace, that will clear the current uh, uh, key combination. And if you press backspace on an empty uh, key like this, or an item like this, then backspace will be that key. If you want to remove it again, you press backspace again, yeah, whatever. And back, I like that as F5. I know this might look weird, but I uh, explained in, in the long video about Thunar uh, why I have set this and I want to use it now. Another really nice thing with this in Thunar here specifically is that you could, let's see if we can find a directory here. Because if we look here in the file menu, we can see this item here, open terminal here. That is actually a custom uh, command here, or custom action that you can you can define these custom actions uh, yourself. Create as many as you want. Uh, open a terminal, change a wallpaper on the select with the selected file, and whatever. Uh, and then you can just uh, open this file menu and set the key combination for your own commands, like wh whatever you want, you know. It's uh, and that's that's uh, it's a really nice, really really nice feature. I, I, this is by far my favorite GTK feature. It's almost that that I whatever. It's it's great, and we will use it quite a lot in in future Thunar videos uh, when we start creating our own custom commands and stuff. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.